Hi guys, in today's tutorial we are going to upload a file to the server and track its progress. If you look at the browser you will see some form elements. You will see a choose file button, a submit button and a progress bar. I think you already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to upload a file in my local server and I'm going to track its progress. Let's see it. I will choose a large fi uh, video file so we can see the animation on the progress element. If I choose a smaller file like an image, we will not see the progress animation because our computer is much faster than the internet. I will press the upload button and we see the progress bar gradual filling up. And if the file is successfully uploaded, we get a success message. Now let's quick explain how this works. Every time we hit the submit button, a JavaScript function is executed. The function grabs the selected file and sends it with an AJAX request to a PHP file. While the file is being uploaded, the JavaScript function is receiving details on how many bytes are transferred at any given time. Then the function calculates the percentage of the file being uploaded and animates the progress bar so we have a visual display. So what I'm saying is that we will write a JavaScript function which will do all those things. And it is easier than you think. Just bear with me. Now let's quick see the files in my editor so we can start coding. In front of me I have the index file in which I will write the upload form. Next I have a script.php file and a javascript file. And if you take a look at the project structure you will see an uploads folder. Ok, enough with the description, let's start coding. Let's go to the index file and write the upload form. I need a form element with a name attribute so I can access the form from the javascript file. Next I have a label. A label informs the user what action to take. Next I have the file input element, this is the choose file button that we see in the browser. And next I have the submit button. After the submit button I have the progress element. The initial value is set to 0 and the max value is set to 100. That means that the progress indicator will fill up the whole width of the element. And last I have two placeholders. In the first element we display any errors and in the second element we display the success message. This is all the HTML we need. Now let's go to the JavaScript file. The first thing that I have to do is to access the upload form. I will say document.forms and that will give me an array of all the forms that exist in the index page. Next I will use the forms name attribute inside square brackets to access the form. Now I will assign an on submit event listener and I will set it equal to a function. In short, every time someone clicks on the submit button, a function will run. I will pass in the function as an argument the event object. The event object has a method called prevent default. This will stop the form submitting the values to the server and will allow us to work with the values in the JavaScript file. Next, I need to have access to the error and success placeholders. I will create an error variable and store the error placeholder. And I will do the same thing with the success element. Next, I need to have access to the selected file. I will create a variable named file and I will set the variable equal to the keyword this. The keyword this will target the form. Next, I say that file, which is the input's name attribute value. Now I have access to the file object. Remember that every HTML element is in JavaScript an object. Now the file object has a property called files, which is an array that holds all the selected files. In our case, there is only one file selected, so the selected file is the first item in the array, which is index 0. Next, I will target the error placeholder and I will set it to an empty string. Every time the function runs, the error element will be empty. That will clear any previous displayed errors. Next, I will check if there is a file selected. If not, I will display an error and stop the function. Next, I need to prepare the file so I can send it to the server with an AJAX request. I will use the form data object and I will append the selected file to it. The form data object will structure the data that contains in the exact same way as an HTML form would. Now we have no problem to send the form data to the server. Now let's write the XML HTTP request. I will store in the HTTP variable a new XML HTTP request object. Now the code block that follows will make the progress bar to work. The HTTP object has a property called upload. We can add an event listener to the upload property to track the file. So in the first argument we have the progress event listener to track the progress and as a second argument we have a function. 
and in the function I will pass in as an argument the event object because I need a couple event properties which you will see in a second. Now inside the function I will calculate the percentage of the file being uploaded. Inside parentheses I will say event.loaded divided by event.total and I will take the result and multiply it by 100. Next I will target the progress elements value that we have in the index page and I will assign the calculated percentage number. Then I will prepare the Ajax request with the open method. The open method takes three arguments. The first argument is the HTTP method, here we are using POST. The second argument is the path to the PHP file which will handle the request, in our case it's a script.php file. And the last argument is the keyword TRUE, which means handle the request asynchronous. Next we execute the request with a SEND method which takes as an argument the form data object. And that's it. Let's go now to the PHP file to catch the request. The first thing in the PHP file is to check if there is a file uploaded. We are going to check the super global files variable. If there is a file, we store the file's temporary location in a variable named temp file. Next, I will set a variable with the uploads path. And next, I will use the move uploaded file function to move the file from the temporary folder to the uploads folder. The function takes two arguments. In the first argument, we pass in the temporary file location, and as a second argument, we pass in the destination folder. The function returns true if the transfer was successful, else it returns false. I will catch the returned value in a variable named upload. Next, I will check if the upload variable is true, and if it is, I will echo out the file's name. This echo statement is the server's response. Now let's go back to the JavaScript file and catch that echo. I will go before the open method and I will add an event listener on the HTTP object. The first argument is the load event listener. And the second argument is a function. Inside the function I will check two HTTP properties. The first property is the ready state. Its value must be 4. And the second property is the status property, which value must be 200. If this condition is true, that means that the server's response is successfully downloaded. So I catch the server's response with the response text property. And we can display the success message. And that's it. Let's bring the browser in the screen and check out the code. I will choose again a video file. And everything is working fine. And if you look at my editor sidebar, you will see in the uploads folder the uploaded video file. And that's it for today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.